So we're talking about therapeutic devices for a deeper vein genosynovitis. Um, at this point, as a conservative treatment method, what we can do is uh, immobilization. So I didn't have the uh, correct splint, so we're going to use this thumb spica splint, and I'm going to talk you through uh, what needs to be done here. So with this deeper vein genosynovitis, essentially what we're going to be doing is splinting the wrist in uh, about 20 degrees of extension. So the wrist would, if the, ideally I'd want this to cover the wrist completely. Um, it's not as you can see, but should be splinted in about 20 degrees of wrist extension. And then the thumbs in the right position here, we want that uh, in about 30 degrees of abduction, like so. Um, we want the IP joint free, so she can flex and move that IP joint. Um, and essentially, you're in this position because we're, we're, short, we're shortening the uh, tendons of the first extensor compartment. Um, so generally, what I'm going to instruct her to do is wear this brace during the day for the first two weeks. Um, and then we're going to continue to, after that two weeks, she doesn't need to wear it during the day, but I will continue to encourage her to wear it at night for an additional uh, six to eight weeks. It's that after that uh, period of immobilization that we're going to really hammer the range of motion uh, and strengthen the activities. And really the only other therapeutic device that I would instruct her to use or concern her home with is an ice pack uh, to help with inflammation control and swelling.